Bradshaw. And this week we have an amazing guest. We always have amazing guests, but this week we have another amazing guest. We have Karen Fourneau, if I pronounced it correctly, who is a yeah. world Olympic athlete. Like she's an amazing speaker. She's just a powerhouse of a woman. And we're cooking today with Karen. Hey, Karen. Hi, Patty. Thank hey. you so much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for coming on. Oh, it's my pleasure. Chronicles here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, no, it's so it's so awesome to have you on. And you actually gave this suggestion, which we had never done in all four seasons of Chit Chat. Yes. We had never done this. I was like, this is perfect. This is I love perfect. it. That's oh. awesome. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to learn something healthy, something quick, some go, go, go sometimes. Yeah, yeah no, it's awesome. And we can, I, as we make it, I'll talk about substitutions because there's so many different things you can do with this. We're making a seafood Buddha bowl. For those of you who are interested, we're using green curry and some coconut. You can make this vegan. You can like totally plant-based if you want. You can switch out the rice for brown rice or quinoa. Like there's just so many elements that you can switch. Yeah, super awesome. So what are you doing these days? What are you up to? <laughs> well, what, oh my gosh, it's completely <laughs> changed, right? As, yeah. as has for all of us, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, no, totally. uh, yeah, I've been uh, doing some virtual presenting, okay. so leading some companies and, and uh, organizations just with the idea of just enhancing our own resilience. Okay. So just talking a little bit about that and meeting them where they're at and uh, yeah, trying to be really helpful for them uh, with some go-to skills. Uh, I've been yeah. walking my dog Promise lots. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you Promise actually. Oh, yes. He's here. He's, he's right there. Oh, hello. Yeah. He's a big fan of cooking. He is my kitchen buddy. I love to cook, Patty. So I'm oh, really, really okay. excited about this. Um, what else have I been doing? I've been, uh, I've been doing some workouts at home. Lots okay. of people are yeah, making adjustments and stuff like that. So trying to keep, keep busy and, but also have some nice, much needed downtime. Yeah. Have you been on the water much these days? I haven't been on the water, but I've been on the golf course. Oh, okay. Yeah. That works too. Yeah. 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 So I'm happy to be back on the golf course. I'm actually retired from kayaking. So okay. I, I will, uh, I'll go when it's safe to do so in a, in, you know, later in the summer perhaps, but, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be out on the course. With Masqua up here on uh, Kearney Lake and they, uh, he's just getting back. So they're doing all the social distancing and they're making it work. So he's going to start back next week, but uh, no, he oh, loves amazing. it. Oh, amazing. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Masqua is a great club. I grew up paddling at Chima in, in Waverly. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. So we're going to start cooking and then we'll, we'll, we'll continue to talk, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I think so uh, you asked for a Buddha bowl. So I thought, okay, what do we like? And then, then I, you liked curry. So I thought, okay, yeah. we're going to do a green curry Buddha bowl. So uh we picked up some fish today so we have some local scallops so we have some beautiful larger size sea scallops from digby uh we have some shrimp uh so these are uh 1620 so they're sort of the largest you can get oh look matchy we're we're cooking together twinsies yeah. um and then we have some local cods that we had that we actually had because we were making some cod at work and so i we got sort of the trim end pieces which work out perfectly for this um so we're going to sear this first and then we're going to do the veggie veggie side of things. So if you want, what I would suggest is get your burner on sort of a medium high, high heat. We're going to okay. sit quickly and then set it off to the side. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat it. I'm just going to sprinkle on some salt and pepper. Okay. And I, uh, I gave you a little container of curry powder. So if you like curry, you could use curry. You could use garam masala. You could use any sort of the warm Indian spices. Um, they all work really, really well. Uh, if you don't like that, you could go straight herb and garlic and a little oil. Oh, the curry it's smells behind. amazing. <laughs> the curry smells lovely. Yeah, yeah, no, it's delicious. So again, be as generous as you want or use as little as you would like or none at all. So I'm just going to sort of sprinkle that on and then some salt and pepper. Okay. All right. Who's with us tonight, Adam? No names. People, come on, comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. I'm going to come on here for a sec. So I'm going to come on for a sec here, just for two seconds. The audience can hear this. So Paul is watching, 
And I always say to my wife, uh, the last couple of months, we hike on the trails. And yes. you know what? Because things haven't been as busy, we're going to watch out for wildlife. He lives in Ontario. He was with his son and his oh, friend. Yes. They ran into a black bear. No. Yes, yes, yes. 30 feet away. A black bear. Oh, my goodness. Bear, 30 feet away. Oh, so my goodness. He can regale the tail. It's another time. But anyways, it does happen. He, but he's, Ollie's not going hiking again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you would even, I don't know what I would even do. You can't climb a tree. No, you, but you know what? They're they're more scared of you, I think, than than uh, than we are of them. Like I re I grew up in New Brunswick, and I can remember as a kid, like there there might be a, you might see a bear in the garden, or you know, like a rare occasion. But I can I can sure they were equally as terrified of us, and they would just saunter off and go their own way. Yeah, I lived in Alaska. That was a totally different story. Oh, beautiful! Wow, <laughs> Patty, are we putting this fish on the on the stove now? Yeah. So get your burner on. Yeah. Is any I would if you want to, you can use just a tiny smidge of oil, depending on what you're cooking with. Okay. Uh, I just have a little bit of avocado oil, but you could use olive, canola. You could actually use a dry pan and then like, just do a quick spray. You just don't want it to stick. I'm okay. um, cast iron, but you could use a nonstick skillet. Really, yeah. Whatever. You could grill this if you wanted to in a grill pan on the barbecue. That would work too. Okay. So, cool. So I just salt and pepper in both sides and just and you know just sprinkled a little bit of that curry powder on there. Yum. And we're gonna yeah, oh I hear the sizzle. Look at you. It's sizzling. Yeah, you're way ahead of me. My burner's not quite as hot. Oh sorry. I can That's go okay. You keep going. Okay. Cool. And the thing about seafood is you wanna get it just cooked, right? Because if you overcook it, you know, everybody knows what like a rubber scallop tastes like. And that's not going well. Okay, mine's sizzling now. We're good. I can add the rest. Um, and I would put your scallops and your shrimp in. And if you put, if you have put your fish in, that's not a problem. Just be mindful. Your fish is going to cook probably quicker than your shrimp and your scallops because we have little pieces, little oh, fillets. Dude, I put here it all in at once. Pardon? I put it all in at once. Oh yeah, that's, that works too. No, no what? worries. What? <laughs> You make your own rules over there, Karen. No problem. <laughs> I like your style. Yeah, totally. Oh, hello, Charlotte. Charlotte's here. Charlotte's an avid Chit Chat Top fan. Hi, she Charlotte. Gets it every week, which we love. No thing. All right, we're just going to grab tongs. I forgot my tongs, obviously. All right. Yeah, I've got tongs, too. Perfect. So am I not touching the seafood right now? Like it's searing? Pardon? Is the seafood just searing right now? I'm yeah, you're just it. searing. You just want it quick. And again, if your pan was hot enough, mine wasn't quite hot enough. I was trying to keep up with you. Okay. Uh, but it, yeah, you're just searing it on both sides. She's like showing me up. Showing me up. Oh, I love to cook. And she's got it all sizzling and making it happen. Uh, yeah, so you just want a little bit of color. You're not going to get a dark, dark sear on it. And then I would just flip it once. Once you put it down the first time, don't fidget with it. Because it just, it often causes it to stick. And so I am going to just, yeah, my shrimp, I'm ready to turn. You can see the tail shells are starting to turn. I'm going to put this right up. They're starting to turn just a little bit pink, which is smelling what we want amazing. to see. How's it smelling? It smells amazing, Patty. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> All right, so what was your best moment at like the Olympics or national or what's the most memorable moment you had? Yeah, you, you know what? My favorite moment um, was actually walking into the opening ceremonies at the Pan Am Games, which were oh. held in Winnipeg yeah. in 1999. And uh, we all walked in as a team and it was, it was kind of an odd timing. So we had actually raced a few days before the opening ceremonies. Because okay. we, had to, we had to go to Olympic qualification over in Europe. So we walked in, we had all of our medals. And as we were walking in, everyone in the stadium was holding these golden flags. So we felt super warm and just uh. held in that moment. And as we walked in, we did the lap of the track, the stadium, like the, the 400 meter track, and I picked out my parents. 
No in way! The in yeah. the whole crowd! In the whole crowd. Like, how does that even happen? Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. So it was my favorite, favorite moment. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Because you've been to a lot. I mean, sorry, go ahead, Adam. I have a couple comments here, actually. Uh, oh, Charles, a couple comments. They can hear me, so they'll be able to hear what Oh, I'm they saying. can hear you. Okay, I don't have to... So Charlotte said, I remember Karen from Blue Nose 2014 and the Ronald McDonald House charity team. Oh, oh yes. Oh, and, so nice. And then my friend Daryl, who lives in Ontario, he remembers getting Karen's autograph years ago at the Via Rail train station. This years ago. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Yeah, Via was one of my sponsors, as along with, um, I think they partnered at that time with Canada Post. So we did oh, a little goodness. campaign ahead of the Sydney Olympics. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, you didn't clue in that I that uh, I knew they could hear you, Adam. What's that? I'm like, oh, that sounds really good. Anyway, that's, all good. that's why I tell that's why I tell you and say, by the way, they can hear me. Like right now, they can actually hear me. They can actually hear you now. <laughs> All right, cool. So I am, my fish is done because my yeah. fish is, I'm pulling mine off. So you be the judge. Yeah, mine's uh, done. So I'm pulling my fish off. My scallops need like another minute. Okay. But also once we take them off the heat, they're going to continue to cook a little bit, right? So be mindful of that. Okay. Um, perfect. Oh, my scallops look lovely. I've got some nice color. My claws are you know, kind of broke, broken up. Is that okay? Yeah, totally. Because okay. you're going to break it up on top of the Buddha bowl anyway. Sweet. Okay, perfect. All right, perfect. So I'm pulling my, my fish off. Yeah. One little piece here, and I'm just putting it on the plate. I wiped it off so there's no raw seafood anymore. And we're good to go. We're just going to set it to the side. And then we can focus on all the yummy veggies. Okay. Cool. And make the curry sauce, the curry sauce, which is the highlight of the whole thing, other than this beautiful seafood. Yum. So here we go. This is what we've got. And I, I mean, I was a little generous. I tried to give give people, because you know, you could have this for lunch and dinner. Yeah, yeah. I love that, multi-meals. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Meal prep once. Yeah, exactly. Same all right. time. And it all, it all works out. It totally all works out. All right, so, uh, you're good. I can see you're moving it off. That looks awesome. Okay, cool. All right, so I think probably what we should do is do a little chopping. And then we'll make the curry sauce and pull it all together. Okie doke. Okay, so I gave you a variety of vegetables. Yeah, you did. By no means, I mean, you can use anything. You can roast sweet potato. I also call Buddha bowls kind of like the clean out the fridge bowl because you can use leftovers. I mean, anything that you have. Um, and really, you know, it's whatever your preference is. We're going to do carminis. We're going to do them raw. But you could saute them in the saute pan if you wanted to, and you could add a little more curry, or if you wanted to put a different flavor in there, you could do that. So we've got, we got some cremini mushrooms. We've got a wedge of purple cabbage, some lovely little broccolini, yeah. uh, and we've got some carrot here. These are very ginormous carrots, but uh, we have some carrots. And we'll have a lime, which we're gonna use as the garnish, and we're also gonna use in the curry sauce. All right, so you can do them however you like from a chopping perspective, but for me, typically what I do, I, I cut the carrot into a reasonable size, so this is probably about two and a half inches. And then what I do is take off just one small flat side of it so that when you go to cut, that flat side sits on the board. And safety you safety first. Yeah, safety first, you got it. Okay. Like you know how to chop vegetables. Yeah. yeah. How are we chopping them? So I think the best way is just to do sort of a little julienne or kind of you know, again, something that's easy, that can fit on a fork. You don't want too big of a chunk. So usually what I do is slice them up into sort of, I would say, quarter inch. Yeah, I dropped one. And then stack them. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. Okay. Uh, and you know what? If, you, if you're not a good chopper and you don't like chopping vegetables, you can buy like a shredded cabbage carrot slaw mix. That would work really well in this too. So, I mean, that's the nice thing about Buddha bowls, the stack kind of the limit. Yeah. So I just sort of, you know, I don't know if you can see all that, but yeah, I just kind of have it in little matchsticks. I'm yep. kind of sucking it all over the kitchen right now. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And same thing. Sorry, Adam. Oh, Chef Andrew and Trish and Tina, my God, all the red 
regulars are back. Hi guys. Hi guys. We're making seafood Buddha bowls. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. All right, so we've got our carrot. I've got those done up. So my, again, my cabbage, all I'm gonna do is just sort of ship a knot it down so it's sort of the same size and texture as the carrots. Just like oh, you I'm, not, kind of I'm only on my off. second carrot. <laughs> All right, so I was doing my research, which I have to do sometimes when I'm hosting Chit Chat Chop, so I get all the details. And I went to your website, which is beautiful, by the way. It's got some beautiful oh. that photo is gorgeous of you in the in the um, in the kayak. Um, Thank you so much. But you have this link on the top right hand side that I think, if I remember correctly, is called Strong Beauty. Yeah, you got it. Yes. So tell us more about that because I read it and I thought, this is awesome. This is absolutely yeah. amazing and so needed. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I, um, about, well, it's two years ago in March, uh, okay. I wrote my first book. It's called Strong Beauty Power Up the Champion Within. Ah, I love it. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it was a book uh, that I actually wrote it um, during my transition out of sports professional sport and in, okay. into next steps. So it was very healing for me to write. And yeah. I wanted to share, um, especially with young women, uh, just little tips and tricks and kind of strategies that I used that were helpful for me when I was learning how to compete. And uh, yeah, so this whole idea of strong beauty just came about that sharing and, and really recognizing the strength and the beauty that resides within each and every one of us. So yeah honoring that um you know wherever we are in our our, our life and and honoring everyone and no, and recognizing that every single person brings value and wisdom yeah. to to whatever they're doing in their in their world so it's uh, yeah it's that message of um inclusion which is very resonant today it is um and uh yeah i think you know kids i love working with kids uh i have a partnership with the nova scotia sport hall of fame so i get to travel oh. around yeah. our province and teach that as well to young um, school kids and uh sports teams and and yeah so it's super special to me so yeah Talked a little bit, I remember when I was reading about grit and resilience, and those are two words that I really, I think that we don't teach our kids enough of that. Uh, I try to instill that in my kids a little bit, like things shouldn't come so easily, yeah. that you need to be, you need to have some grit and resilience because it's not always going to go your way and how you come out of the other side of that. So when I was reading today, I was like, this is bang on. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Patty. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's about that, right? It's that being comfortable and knowing that it's okay to fail and yeah. and learn from that right we're all on the, our, our own journeys and and there's there's i always say there's gold in that journey yeah. um, because it's what we learn along the way and and how we move forward from that yeah. so yeah great yeah. message love it thank you thank oh, you welcome. all right so we got our carrot we've got our shredded cabbage so i'm just going to slice these cremini's and again if you like them which some people don't like the texture of raw mushroom, go ahead and saute them the last two or three days in the fridge. Uh, I wouldn't put them on your Buddha bowl if they're cooked right away and leave them in the fridge that way because they'll tend to sort of sop up the whole bowl um, and kind of like drain all the, like the liquids will blend. But yeah, so I'm just slicing them uh, sort of like that. That's what we're gonna Patty, do. what are you doing with the stems? Uh, oh, well, I just push those off to the side. Uh, and I would put those in like a chicken stock or a veggie stock. So I have a little bin in my freezer that yeah. I throw some of that stuff in. And then when I go to make a chicken stock, like last night we did roast chicken for dinner. Oh, cool. Monday, yeah. So I did two roast chickens and I just throw in whatever vegetable trimmings I have and they go in the stock. So we're not chopping the, the stem. You can eat them it, on cremini's. They're pretty soft. Like I wouldn't eat them on like an oyster or okay. some of the woody stems, but these are really soft. They're kind of the same texture as the mushroom. So feel free to chop those up however you like. Okay. Sky is the limit. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna chop one more of these mushrooms up, and then we're going to um, cut up some of this broccolini. And, and again, I love broccolini because I'm not a huge broccoli fan. I, w I did a science experiment in grade nine on broccoli, and I'm not gonna talk about it now because we don't need to discuss that. Um, but it, from that moment on, it just never really did anything for me. I like covered in a cheese sauce or hidden in something, but sort of raw broccoli is not my thing, but I really like broccolini. It's not as pungent. Yes. 
it's really tender and yeah, I find it more edible than your traditional hearty broccoli, which is good for broccoli soup, but not necessarily my favorite vegetable. Yeah. I so love broccoli I too. I, I make some broccoli things. I like a, a broccoli salad and yeah. roast roasted broccoli, but yeah, I love broccolini. Yeah, we have um, one of our new favorite veg as our, on our fresh meals at work are char broccolini with lemon and garlic. We do the same thing with bok choy. And so it's just like a quick drizzle and then you just char it on the grill. And that little bit of smokiness adds a lot to it. It's really kind of yummy. Yum. Yeah. Great for barbecue season. All right. So I'm just going to like rough chop the broccoli. So, you know, I've got the, almost the full stem in there. And then I've got all the florets. And again, I'm just keeping this on the corner of my cutting board. I don't know how much everybody can see. Um, but yeah, so just chopping that up. And that's really it. So we've got our fresh veggies. We've got our seafood over here, which we're gonna put on the salad warm. It's nice, it's resting, it's lovely. And now we're gonna to have to make our curry, our sauce, which kind of brings everything together. So yeah, so this is a, a great curry sauce. It's made with coconut cream which you can buy in like 14 ounce cans, which is different than coconut milk. It's super thick. Like if you look at it, it really, it really is like coconut, almost pure coconut fat, but it's going to lend a real creaminess to the, um, to the dish. So I mentioned you needed a blender. So we might make it a little moistier, Adam. You might want to come on and, you know, chat away at blender. Um, <laughs> Are we doing Green. the blender now? We've got peanuts. Yeah, we're gonna go to the blender now. Do you have a blender? Yep. I'm gonna yeah, turn it. Mine's turn behind. You oh, around. she's turning the camera. She's very tactical too. <laughs> I'm <it>. trying. <laughs> well, you're doing an excellent job. So we gave a lot of coconut cream in this. So I'm gonna use about half of this, which I would say is about a cup of coconut cream. Half yeah, of right. the blender? I would say half. Use the other half for something. Or if you like the sauce, you can put it in the fridge for weeks. Oh, I'm getting okay. more. So we've got our coconut cream. And then I will just, Miss Megan put these together for me today. Okay. But they, she probably did them with my specifications. But I was probably a little generous. Um, but you could use any nuts that you wanted. Um, I'm going to have a little snack. Yeah, I know. They're pretty yummy, huh? They're really good. <laughs> so I put about half of those in there, too. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to use a green curry paste. Now, we're cheating a little bit because we're just using a pre-made green curry paste. If you're super authentic and you make your own curry paste, well, then great. You should come on Chit Chat Shop and teach me how to make them. Oh, it smells awesome. Because that's not... Yeah. So <laughs> you could use red curry. You could use green curry. Again depending on the spiciness. So I would just put a couple tablespoons in. Oh, we're not doing the whole thing? Well, you can put the, you can do whatever you like. No, a couple it tablespoons. On, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll eyeball it. Okay. A couple tablespoons, okay. Perfect. So then we gave you two little secret containers, which they look the same, but they're not. These. They're not, yeah. So one is fish sauce. Ooh, yummy. Mm. Which is going to get it. that like umami flavor, that like super like luscious. Yeah, it's super delicious. And the other one's maple syrup. Oh, that's the maple syrup. That's the maple syrup, yeah. Yeah. And, and the other one is fish sauce. Yeah. But again, you might want to just put a little bit to start and then taste it. And if you want a little bit more seasoning, I would say anywhere from two to four tablespoons would probably be, or like one to two tablespoons. Of the fish sauce. Of the fish sauce. Okay. And that's it. So that goes in. And then the only other thing is, um, oh, we're going to do the lime. So is I'm going to do a little the, lime. Is the maple syrup going in too? Yeah, stick your all in there. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So we've got a lime here. We're going to cut the lime in half and save half of it because we're going to garnish with it. Okay. And the other half, we're just going to juice right in. Yummy. Just a little bit of liquid. Love it. Now, I'm going to guess, based on looking at this. Adds a little extra zip. Zing. Thing. That's what you want. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go get a little water. I'm I'm in a Renault kitchen right now. I have no sink. There's supposed to be a big sink here, 
but that's a whole other story. So I have to run over to the other room to grab some water, which I'm going to do. So talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> because we're going to need to thin this sauce out a little bit. <laughs> Give me one sec. Are you putting the water in the sauce? No. Yeah, we're going to thin it a little bit. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be super thick. So okay. I guess just like maybe like half a cup. Okay. I'll be back. Yeah. Fun. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. I'm excited. All this creative sauce making and everything. It's going to be delicious, you guys. Because I felt, oh, here we go. My mic's on now. I, I'm on the screen now so they can hear me. So nice. Are they going all right so far? She's not going too fast. No, she's not going fast. No, I feel good. I'm, I good. feel good. Pain. I'm not yeah, she's fast. awesome. What? I'm just checking. Want to make sure I'm supposed to make sure the guest is comfortable, Patty. Oh, oh yeah. thank you. Thank you for checking in on their well-being, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to remain here until once you turn that on, I'll turn your mics off and I'll give a play by play when the, when the, uh, oh, okay. why not? Perfect. All right. So I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. Oh yeah. Okay. And I'm going to probably put a quarter of a cup of water in there to start. Cause I feel like it really needs it. Okay. All right. And then we'll see. Cause I just feel like it needs the coconut cream is very thick. Yeah. All right. Or, All right. Turn uh, the blender on. So sorry for the noise. Right. I'll turn it okay. off. Mic's off. Your mics are off now. Hey, turn it. Mics are off. So right now, full, and they're making the curry sauce in the in the blender right now. Lots of noise I can hear. My you guys can't hear. Lots of noise happening. <laughs> Looks good. You guys good? I yeah, definitely needed that little bit of water. I'll leave now. Can we put? All right, I'm gonna do a taste. Smells awesome. Doesn't it? I love green. Oh, we're tasting it. Yes, smart. Smart. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, ooh. That's like a party in your mouth. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you feeling that? Woo, that's hot. <laughs> I love it. I love spice. Oh, do you? Okay, good. I was like, ooh, yeah. ooh, might be a little. No, that's put all awesome. Green curry in. Good. Hey, good thing I didn't put that whole thing in. Oh, my. <laughs> You gotta wait for instructions. No, I'm kidding. That right. would have been trouble. All right, so here's the thing. We're using white rice, like basmati rice, as our grain. Now that's not super like nutritious, but we were making it today at work. Yeah. It's really yeah. easy. Perfect. So well, this is just steam, but you could use brown rice, which would be really a, probably a better if it's from a healthy perspective. Quinoa would work. You could use bulgur. I mean, the sky's the limit, really. So take your stainless steel bowl. If you wanted to, if you were home and you wanted to heat this, you could heat the rice. But I like it. I actually like it cold. So I'm going to put about half of the container of rice in the bowl. Okay. And I'm going to put maybe like two or three tablespoons. I'm going to toss it around. And that's going to be the base of our Buddha bowl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Two or three, two or three tablespoons of what? The, the, uh, of the curry sauce. Oh, okay. Right out of the blender. Okay. Maybe a little extra there. I like to, I like mine a little, yeah. Perfect. So you're just mixing that around, curry, getting the curry sauce all through. And again, okay. you can do that warm. Works really well warm, but it also works really well cold. So whatever you like. All right. Cool. Now we're going to build our beautiful Buddha bowl. And for those that you joined a little later, like I said, we're just using some fresh veggies. You can use anything. Clean out your fridge. You got leftover potatoes in there or roasted sweet potatoes or last night's veggies. They go perfectly in a, in a Buddha bowl because you're just going to tie it all together with the green curry sauce. All right. So now I'm just going to place that on the bottom of my bowl. Okay. We're going to get chefy here, Karen. We're going to get I love it. presentation girl. I love it. Yeah. All right. So, so all on the bottom? All sort of on the bottom and don't pack it down too much. So mine sort of looks like that. Just cover the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And like then whole, we're gonna that whole thing of rice is going in, or the the half. Well, I did half my rice, but you do whatever you feel. <laughs> whatever works okay. for you. Okay. I would say this, I would say this feeds two people with the rice that we that we put in. Yeah. So, you know. And then all okay. I'm doing is taking some of these lovely veggies that we cut up and placing them on top. And I'm just sort of segmenting, the, segmenting them a little bit. And then we have our broccolini. So for everybody that's 
at home. And again, you can make all pretty designs, but I've just sort of placed them on top, right? So the rice is on the bottom, that's your base, and then all your veggies just go around. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my curry sauce again, which is sort of your dressing, it's gonna bind everything. Oh, cool, I, I, I know, cool. I know what, this will keep in the fridge, because there's no dairy in it, it's coconut based, it'll keep for like four weeks. So you can make a big batch of this and use it on, it's great on fish, it's great on chicken, you name it. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm just gonna sort of drizzle, give myself like a little dressing, and then we're gonna put the fish on top and the seafood. Oh. Yeah. All right. Super healthy, lovely. My cutting board is a mess. Please excuse the mess. All right, and then we're gonna just get our seafood, which is over here beautifully rusted. And I'm just gonna place it on top. All right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Big, big finish. Woohoo, the big finish is right. So yeah, make it as pretty as you want, or you know, just throw it on top. It doesn't really matter. This looks incredible. Will you make it again, do you think? Uh yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be my go-to. Oh, is it? No, that's I, awesome. Uh, it's, okay. it's all my favorite things. Seafood, local okay. seafood, it's veggies, it's hearty, it's filling. It's oh. I love this. Yeah, no, to I, I totally agree with you. And so super fresh. And again, you can use whatever you have. If you have the sauce made, then whatever you've got, chicken if you want it, or you can make it totally plant-based, you could use tofu. Oh, hey, Adam, hi, fingers are up. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, Lynn. Mother-in-law, Lynn, missed uh, what was in the sauce. So this is a green curry sauce. It has green curry paste that we just bought, store-bought. It's got coconut cream. It's got a little bit of fish sauce, a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness. It's got peanuts in there. And then we thinned it with a little bit of water and salt and pepper. Really, you didn't even need that much salt and pepper because the curry paste is pretty flavorful. All right, so then if you want, again, depending on how much curry sauce you like, you could always place just a little bit along the side of the seafood. And wow. then lastly, Okay, my messy cutting board. I'm very disappointed in myself. I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> I'm gonna take some peanuts and just give them a little bit of a rough chop. Oh, cool. To the left, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it along. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then put a little, a couple of wedges of, of uh, lime on it. Oh my gosh. This is my dream dinner. <laughs> All right, so here's mine. Not quite so pretty. Let me see if I can. Wipe the dish. There we go. Um, All right. Look at yours. Yours love. looks beautiful. I'm in love. Patty, <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, like super easy, right? Um, so easy. Thank you so much. Oh, I love welcome. this. Thanks so much for coming on. It's awesome. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to make this. This is going to be my staple. <laughs> <laughs> so what do what the next few months hold for you? What, what, what are you up to now? Well, it's, uh, I'm actually starting uh, a, a new role with uh, Evolve Fitness. So I'm going to oh, be awesome. doing some virtual training okay. um, and doing some corporate wellness with them too. So it's, I'm really excited about that. But my, my schedule's going to change a lot. So I start work at like 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I know. But, but the bonus in all of that is, A, I'm a morning person. Yeah. But B, I'm, I'm done work at 1.30. Yeah, time, you know, so then I'm like, this is fun. I love this. I have my afternoon. That's awesome. Yeah, so uh, I'm really I, excited about that. I can't do mornings. I try. <laughs> it's, it's bad. It's all my team's like, if I show up before 8 30, my team's like, what's wrong? What's what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so well, that sounds awesome. It sounds like that's a that's a great opportunity. And again, you'll have your afternoons to do all sorts of fun stuff, like get back. Yeah, home it's gonna be great. You know? Yeah. Still doing the speaking and, and things like that. So yeah, try got to be nimble these days, right? That's right. That's right. N nimble and resilient. You got to be able to pivot. Absolutely. All right, well, give your bowl a taste if you if you don't mind. Let me yeah, know. Yeah. Let me grab a fork. Okay, grab a fork. Yeah. Sure. All right. Okay. She's gonna go for a bite, a big bite. I think she's gonna try to get everything. 
I'm gonna go for a bite, yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys, this smells divine, first of all. <laughs> I love this, yeah. Oh, here she goes, whoop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry to speak with my muscle, <laughs> but wow. Good! So flavorful. I love the crunch. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I love it. Like, cool. that's what I'm all about. That's that crunchy veggies. Yeah. So fresh mm -hmm. and the texture in this. I mean, we're going to get in now to local veggie season. So, like, snap peas would be great. Green yeah. beans. Like, you could even do fiddleheads in this. Like, there's just so many things you could do, right? Absolutely. And, like, if you wanted to, you could do, like, crispy, like, chickpeas or, like, some, you know, any anything. There's so many options. Yeah. Who well, knew? Who knew? I love it. We're doing some uh, cool things again, pivoting, shifting, being nimble, which is awesome. And we're looking at some online events and doing some virtual cooking classes, which we're launching in the coming weeks, which is awesome. But so you're still, I mean, you're still speaking, you're still doing all of that in the virtual world. So how do people find out about you? Like, where do they go? If I wanted to hire you to come and talk and be awesome. Where do they find Aww, you? Thank you. <laughs> um, so you can find me on social media, on my website is I Promise Performance. Dot com. Uh, okay. The youth work that I do is uh, Strong Beauty uh, as well. So that has its own website too. Um, but yeah, social media, um, just my name, Karen Ferno on Instagram. I'm at Strong Beauty Tribe. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's how you find, that's how you find me. And yeah, it's, uh, that's, it's, it's uh, trying to, just trying to do some, some things to, to help people navigate yeah. what's going on in their world right now. There's a lot of stuff coming, right? And not everybody knows how to manage it. Even, you know, yeah, even not to say that I'm, uh, I'm a, that I wouldn't normally be impacted by it, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty optimistic and pretty upbeat. And even a couple weeks ago, I was like, I just need to take a break and not talk to people for a couple of days because I just need a reset, yeah. right? And, you know, there's a lot coming and you don't necessarily yeah. realize it. And then it all of a sudden hits you. So it's great to have that resource and it's great to have the, you know, the positivity that you have. And yeah, I'm really excited about Thank some of this. Thank you. Story. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And just, I guess my big message is to leave, leave people with a skill that they can use. Right. So for me, it's reconnecting to our breathing for me is really, really helpful. So just taking that time and space to expand our belly um, and, yeah. <laughs> and, and reach into our belly for that breath and just let our shoulders come down as we exhale and just taking that pause, re reconnecting. I love it. What an important message, especially now. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy your lunch or your dinner for the next couple of days. It's, it's obviously it's 20 to 10. You're not going to devour this, I think, right now. But uh, yeah. yeah, you got lots of leftovers, lots of I I love a it. giant mess. This is probably my messiest chit chat chop ever. <laughs> you can reserve that for Andrew. If he's still watching, he might not be a little bit of a dig, but um, yeah, no, it was awesome to have you. Thank you so much. And Thank you. We should do this again sometime. We'll do something else. Something I fun. would love that. Thank you cool. so much, Patty. Thanks, Adam. Awesome. Thanks so much. Everybody, thanks for joining in to Jet Chop with Karen. It was so great to have you on, and we'll see you next week. Virtual hugs, everybody. Yes, virtual hugs all the way around. <laughs>